हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर न्यू टॉपिक इन सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर दैट इज एस एन एम पी कॉन्फिगरेशन दैट इज अ सिंपल नेटवर्क मैनेजमेंट प्रोटोकॉल कॉन्फिगरेशन ओके सो आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल द पॉइंट्स ओवर हेयर इफ यू कैन सी हियर ऑल द पॉइंट्स एंड दिस इज द नेटवर्क वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन नाउ क्लियर सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू टेक 1841 router okay go to select the routers and 1841 router include uh, uh, the switch that is 2960 switch you can include two pcs three pcs any number of pcs you can add okay give the connections and configure all the devices in the network and go to the router uh, command line interface and these are all the things we we will do today that is nothing but called a uh, simple network management configuration so let's get started i'll just keep the uh, points here and let me remove this one so i will build a new network for you okay so first what need to what need to do have to go to the router so go and select uh, 1841 router and you can select the 2911 router as well okay that is also works well with this uh, uh protocol okay go for the switch 2960 switch we have to select clear then go for the pcs just select two pcs three pcs also you can add that is not an issue and now uh, give the labeling over here okay so i will give uh, the ip address 192.168. Uh, some 20.2 okay that is a 20 network and this pc is also belongs to the same network 192168 20 dot uh, sorry 20 dot 3 okay so 20 dot 3 so give the connections go for the connections select the automatic connection or the straight to cable any one you can select okay fast ethernet and select the fast ethernet port again from the switch to the router clear so now we will start the configuration so here for the configuration so if you can see here 20 dot 2 go for the desktop and ip configuration here 192168.20.2 okay 20.2 then uh, subnet mask and default gateway will be what is address of the router 20.1 we will take okay so as the same way we will configure the second pc as well so go for the desktop ip configuration and here the ip address is 20.3 okay then subnet mask then the gateway is same for both the pcs clear now we will go here configure the router first we will check what is the port over here that is fast ethernet 00 go for the router and okay wait my dear okay go for the router config fast ethernet 00 and here we will give the router address that is 20.1 okay and the subnet mask and the port status on immediately you can see the green lights appear over here okay so this is the simple configuration what we have already done in the previous uh, uh, networks okay now the speciality what we are doing today is that is a snmp configuration how to do at the router side and how to do at the pc side we will see now okay first we will go to the router okay so we have already configured the router now go for cli command line interface here you just press exit okay you need to go for the config mode basically okay here you have to give the command called snmp okay snmp you can give in a small letters or capital letters hyphen server community okay community here i will give you give the command read so read uh, short form we can use as ro that is read only okay so see here the outgoing uh, uh, i mean router will start then again uh, give the command that is snmp server community write command i will give write that is rw rw read means read only write yani rw means read and write okay so fine so this is how we have um, uh given the commands to the router side now go for the pc side okay open any one pc okay so any one pc go for the mib browser okay so here you have to add the address what address here that is the address of the router what is address of the router 20.1 right 
now after that go for advance option and here you have to give some passwords like read community just give the read password you can give any other password as well no problem but here write is w r i t e write and click ok okay so then uh, here when you go for get command okay so see here what it is uh, saying that is oid input cannot be empty first before going to uh, set the operations get and set first you have to uh set this oid clear so i will just show you i'll make it some big okay so go for mib tree then router standard then the next one then org then dod then internet then management then mib2 then just make like this so here in the system in the system then go for the system here you can select the sys name that is a system name so can you see here that is already filled so go for get uh, now you just press go then can you see here that is a name it came and as well as a value is a router and type is octet string so here you have to go again uh, to set the operation okay so this pop-up will be open here the data type you have to select the octet string so as it is mentioned over here then value will be you just give finished f i n i finished then click ok ok then if you click go see here the value is router now so that is a get value now set value if you just press go then see can you see the value is finished now clear so this is how we are i mean configuring at the pc level now last the final step go for the pc here if you can see here you just write down uh, finished command okay so okay fine invalid input but you can can you see here that is a finished understand my dear just can you see that's a finished so this is how you can configure the snmp configuration so here see all the points which i have given over here the same all the points i did on the network so now configure all the devices later uh, go for the command uh, line interface okay then we have to set the community that is a read and write community in the ser uh, snmp server then pc then go for the mib browser and ip address of the gateway then advanced option what i have to do everything i have written over here step by step okay this one will help you to understand snmp and this is how we are configuring the simple network management protocol okay here uh, uh, sending a message from one pc to other pc that is a different thing what that we have already done in the previous labs clear so how we are configuring the snmp configuration at the router level and the pc level we can see over here okay so if you have any uh, kind of a doubt you just please comment me i'll give you the reply for that you just follow all these points which are given over here so according to these points you can make the snmp configuration i hope you like this video okay please do comment if you have any uh, questions leave the comment below okay thank you so much